hey guys uh, welcome back to a new tutorial and uh, in previous videos we seen how to uh, install the ROS2 on Jetson Nano uh, with the Jetpack uh, cloned version so then we install Humble and we integrate the RP LED and then uh, we integrate the webcam and finally we come into the lower controller uh, uh, like ASP32, Arduino, those things so in ROS1 uh, we'll use a row serial to communicate with the Arduino, right? So row serial, uh, we need to dump the code into Arduino and we'll use a row serial command line to communicate between uh, Raspberry or Jetson to uh, send the PWM signal to the motor driver. So that part is a row serial. So uh, that's a different one. So in ROS2, we need to use some uh, like micro ROS. So I already posted the videos how to install and how to configure the micro ROS firmware and then how to uh, make the IDE libraries and make the publisher node and uh, how to subscribe with the uh, local computer so these things we seen in uh, previous videos so well uh, in this video we are going to see how to integrate the micro ROS with the Jetson Nano and then we are going to integrate the ESP32 uh, with the Jetson okay so uh, first so by integrating this uh, we are going to control the motors our wheels uh, using ASP32 from the Jetson. So Jetson is going to do the tele operation. So that's a Jetson is a publisher and ESP is a subscriber. So for wheels, the ESP is going to be a publisher and wheel is going to be a subscriber, right? So like that is going to work. So the MicroRAS agent will be enable the communication between the Jetson and and ESP32. Okay. So then after. Uh, Integrating this, uh, we need to see the port value which is going to send the PWM signal to the motors, drivers and the motors. Right. So we will start that and I will give you some description about the blog I write on about this ESP32 communication between Jetson and how to dump the code. So if you have if you have an idea about how to dump the code in uh, firmware, you need an IP address of the agent and you can dump the code and you can enable the Wi-Fi. Otherwise you can use the Arduino IDE and you can dump the code into the ESP32 and you can make the uh, micro ROS uh, communication between Jetson and micro ROS so then uh, now we will start with the things so first we need to integrate uh, connect the, the ESP32 with the Jetson and then uh, we need to find out the port which is enabled or not right so for that we need to enter into this uh, uh, dev part and give ls can see that USB okay TTY USB 0 right so this is an port of USB 32 right for more information or uh, we can use this command line to find out that so ls dev grip uh, DTY USB 0 right so port is enabled so once I unplug the ESP so now put the this command so there is no the power right so now we plug the ESP32 with Jetson so then we launch this so you can find out that TTY USB is enabled right so then after uh, we need to go into the micro ROS uh, directory to source so we already cloned these things uh, the video also available how to install the micro ROS in the Jetson or uh, how to install in the local computer so once you set up the micro raw setups then uh, you need to in, you need to source your environment source install setup.bash so after sourcing uh, you need to uh, launch the micro raw agent or ROS2 uh, run otherwise uh, right ROS2 run micro raw agent uh, micro ROS agent serial uh, dev uh, TTY USB so it will enable uh, your ESP32 so after make this uh, you need to press this EN button in the ESP32 okay. so now the ESP32 is connected with the micro ROS right so then then after you need to open a new terminal after opening a new terminal uh, we can type 
so i already dumped the cmd well uh, command uh, which is going to control the wheels of the robot okay so that things i given my description the code and with a blog medium blog i write an about how to uh, clone and how to uh, dump the code into the esp32 like in firmware or in a arduino ide and then the steps which i am doing in video that also i am given in my medium blog okay follow that so then after uh, now we can type pause to topic list okay uh, now you can see that uh, we can now find out the cmd well uh, cmd well and the wordum so if you have the encoder uh, you can find out the port values in the code and you can connect your encoders with an uh, pins in uh, esp32 and you can enable these things so cmd well is available right now we can use the ros2 run tell you twist keyboard keyboard dot by so this is a note to do the tele operation right uh, so we have the uh, cmd well no topic so this is a uh, topic for a uh, subscriber thing so it's going to be publish some information from the tele operation now. subscriber topic right so this is going to give the velocity and acceleration information now from this so now open a new terminal and we'll type uh, ros2 topic list okay you can see that cmd well and wordum parameters these things so then open uh, rqt to visualize the things 